We're cooking today, folks. Got the rod and reels out. You know it's getting serious. So in Matthew chapter 14, Jesus is coming out to see his disciples. His disciples are on a boat. The seas are really rough and they're getting scared. They look out and they see something walking towards them. They're like, what is that? What is that? And they realize, oh wow, that's Jesus coming towards us. Jesus calls out to Peter. He says, Peter, come to me. Matthew 14 verse 31, it says this. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. What happened? Peter, he was walking on the water toward Jesus. He kept his eyes on him. His faith started to go away, and he got scared, turned around. As soon as he did, boom, underwater. But Jesus, he was there to save him. Jesus is our Savior, and we need to put our faith in him. Salmon. <laughs> beautiful colors. Look at that. That's why they call them bonitas because they're beautiful. Hmm? Oh, neither. That's a whitey. A beautiful fish. <laughs> Freaking ginormous king mackerel or a shark? Oh, you know what it could be? It could be an amber jack. Fight more like a jack cravalli. Looking more like a jack cravalli. In order to defend against sharks and try to eat them, this right here is a straight up razor. Predator would come in to bite their tail off, but this one, if you went for a bite, it definitely wouldn't be in for a nice surprise. See how it's wide? Straight up razor on both sides. When it when it does that, like when it just pulls right when you're trying to flip them, take yeah. your hand, grab the reel. Okay. And that way drag can't be pulled out. Yeah. But <laughs> Wow. Mm. Ooh, that was a mackerel. And for y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's an old yeller. Just not what we're after, but still very fun to catch. See, that one's got more of an aqua color to it. Yeah. Pretty. Beautiful. Woo! All right, so Jed's gonna stay in the boat fishing. I took a look in the water and it looks like it's pretty clear, but there's a lot of current. I'm gonna hop in with my gun just to look around and see what's down there and then hang off of a line that we have hanging from the bow cleat. So after all the chumming we had done, most of 
I guess what was not really biting but was still around the boat were zero mackerel. So I hopped in the water and right off the rip I shot this one. And I was just kind of goofing around. The visibility was really nice and I was just having fun. So I shot another one. I tried to no scope that one. I kind of like spun around and barely aimed at it. Ended up hitting that one. There was a little school of bait fish that the Ciro's were all hitting. And so here you can see I started to line up, but then I looked over and Jed was lined up on the same Ciro I was. So I kind of backed down and he ended up not taking the shot. Not a big deal. We had plenty of fish in the cooler. And from there on out, we just kind of goofed around, really. It was really relaxing. We were just taking our time, shooting fish here and there. That one was the only Spanish that I shot. It was a little bit larger. This is Jed's camera right here. This is Jed shooting one of the cereals as well. I got all excited. I thought it was a king. Oh, nice one. Yeah, he was sort of kind of high in the water column. Dude, I thought these fish were supposed to be filleted, not bottom fish. Dude, yeah, what I the know. Heck? They're so deep. They're all of them, the kings, the zeros, all of them are on the freaking bottom. Yeah, yeah. I got so close to a king, bro. I saw that. I had one right on top of me. So after that, we hop back in the water. This is Jed attempting to catch a lobster. I'll just let you listen to this one because it's good. We eventually caught that lobster and then we went to another spot that we like to dive pretty often and there was a bunch of nurse sharks around this spot. I was lined up with two bands on this hog and then I had to pull my gun back because I thought I was going to shoot it against the rocks. The hog moved and then I stoned this thing. This is a good size hog. I was actually really impressed with this one. Dude, it's a tank, dog. Sick freaking hog, man. We gotta measure that one for sure. And this is the last clip I wanna show you guys. I don't know if everybody understands how smart these black grouper are, but I saw him and here I am. I kinda chased him, he went behind the rocks, so I charged on him and the tip of my gun poked over the rock and he takes off the other direction. Uh, I did not have the time to get my gun all the way back around by the time I realized where he was going. And ultimately he completely lost me, but that was a really good sized black grouper. When you land a black grouper, man, that's a good fish because they're difficult to catch. Pretty good today. It didn't work out quite like how I imagined. I still had a really good time. We got a pile of fish, so it was a great day. might have heard of hound dogs. We got a fish dog. She's right there. Hey girl. Our really big hogs down here, they don't get the crazy face. Like some of them do, but a lot of them that I've seen, they don't have that big snout like they would up in the Carolinas. Or I've shot some that were 16. A and huge snout. Yeah, snout yeah. is, I mean, look at that. That thing should have a way bigger snout. I mean, that's the way they look everywhere else, you know, like that's sitting normal. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's it for this one. Came away with a bunch of bonita, a bunch of yellowtail, a couple rainbow runner. We had like eight zero mackerel. Jack Creval, Jed shot a dog snapper, and then I shot a hogfish. Jed caught one lobster. We got some meat for dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one. You hiding from the camera, London?